Hi everybody, it is March 1, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me. It is on the U.S. Department of State's website, State Defense Cooperation on Global Engagement Center Programs and Creation of the Information Access Fund to Counter State-Sponsored Disinformation. We are seeing the war intensify. The war on information, the war on truth, the war against truth. We're seeing these channels go down, not just on YouTube, but Twitter and Facebook. And, well, it just seems that the channels or the people who have the Facebook pages, the Twitter accounts, seem to be on the conservative side of things, not the liberal side of things. This war could not be more obvious now. What this statement here, released by our Department of State, is doing is creating a larger army to counter the truth. Now, what this statement says, the Department of State pleased to announce a new partnership with the Department of Defense. We have signed a memorandum of agreement to transfer $40 million from the Department of Defense to the Department of State's Global Engagement Center in fiscal year 2018 for initiatives to counter propaganda and disinformation from foreign nations? No. They had a fine department doing that already. It's not just foreign nations. Propaganda used against Americans was made legal uh, under the Obama administration during the Obama years. That was always anathema here in the United States. Propaganda against Americans was not ever legal until Obama got into office. So they are using propaganda and disinformation against Americans and they want to counter the truth. They want to counter the truth that is taking place right here in our country, as well as truth coming out of other countries about what's happening here in our country. They want to control all information. Now, the 40 million will allow them to just build up a bigger army of useful idiots to use them as tools. Uh, in various aspects, but certainly in the cyber world, to counter all truth. It truly is. Uh, it's God. How do you even describe what is taking place today? But it would have been incomprehensible to us that we would be living this time. But we are living this time and we know it's real and it's only going to get worse. When you see statements like this coming out of the Department of State, you know it's going to get worse. Information Access Fund to support public and private partners. Public-private partnership Agenda 20. All agendas rapidly accelerating now simultaneously. But they want to work to expose and to counter propaganda and disinformation from foreign nations as well as what's taking place right here in our own nation. Under the Information Access Fund, civil society groups, media content providers, non-governmental organizations, federally funded research and development centers, private companies, academic institutions, all of you will be eligible to compete for grants from the Global Engagement Center to advance their important work to counter propaganda and disinformation. And you know what? What does that mean? <gasps> money, money, money. So people are going to be dropping off their applications at the State Department to get involved, to be the useful idiot, to get on the side of the evil, to counter the truth and to provide more propaganda and more disinformation.
That's what this is about. Critical to ensuring that we continue an aggressive response to malign influence and disinformation and that we can leverage deeper partnerships with our allies, Silicon Valley and other partners in this fight. Secretary Goldstein, under Secretary Goldstein said, it is not merely a defensive posture that we should take. We also need to be on the offensive as if they haven't been on the offensive for decades. But the global Engagement centers, partnerships with local civil society organizations, NGOs, media providers, and content creators to counter propaganda and disinformation. The fund will also drive the use of innovative messaging and data science techniques. The Global Engagement Center will initiate a series of pilot projects developed with the Department of Defense that are designed to counter propaganda and disinformation. Okay, and hey, here's the email address where you can get more information. You just click on this hyperlink and you can get more information. Yeah, submit those applications so that you can get money from the Department of State, Department of Defense, so that you too can be engaged in programs to destroy truth, and there's going to be an awful lot of people who will be seeking that money. This is what we're living. So I want to also, and I will link below to this. Um, social media as a tool of hybrid warfare. Now, this is from NATO, the NATO STRATCOM. Center of Excellence, social media as a tool of uh, hybrid warfare, prepared by the NATO Strategic Communications Center of Excellence. What do we have here? Table of contents. Oh, the weaponization of social media. The weaponization of social media, just because this is a document uh, coming out of NATO, they the, the State Department, the Department of Defense, the CIA, the FBI, local law enforcement, they all use the same techniques that I'm going to be going through, having taken some excerpts from this document, but I want to thank the subscriber who left the link to this document below one of my videos yesterday. And, well, many of you know, many of you know, the whole, well, hybrid warfare. You know that we are living a time of unconventional, asymmetric, irregular, hybrid, new generation warfare. The doctrine of this hybrid warfare, well, essentially it's summed up as war is not declared at all. Military action starts with the activities of militant groups during peacetime, now, when you hear militant groups, understand that these tactics are being used on ordinary citizens around the world. Ordinary people on the internet. So non-contact clashes between highly maneuverable fighting groups are used. All right, think of the fighting groups, not just as those insurgents those rebels that we fund, but think about fighting groups here on the internet, the conservative versus the liberal, Christians versus uh, whomever, uh, Jews, uh, blacks versus whites, all fighting groups are easily maneuverable. An enemy's military and economic resources annihilated by means of precise strikes on strategic military and civilian inf infrastructure. So this document is mostly about information, the hybrid uh, information war, the weaponization of social media. But all of this doctrine, the hybrid war fair, the mass abuse of high precision weapons and special operations, robotics, 
and weapons that use new physical principles, directed energy weapons, such as lasers, shortwave radiation. All of this is taking place. You see it operating. You see all of these wars that we are engaged in, in the Middle East in particular, simultaneous wars taking place. And they're using all of these unconventional weapons. Think about the directed energy weapons, the lasers used in the California fires. Think about all of the weather being used as a weapon, the directed energy that they are putting into these storms. All of this is going on as I speak. The simultaneous strikes on enemy troops, the simultaneous battles on land, air, sea, and the information space and troop management in a unified information sphere. Troop management, yes, in a unified information sphere. Well, think about the in internet. Think about the 40 million that the State Department has transferred to the Department of Defense. Is it the state transfer of that money to Department of Defense? Man, can't even remember. Let's see. Uh, the Department of State pleased to announce, yes, to transfer $40 million from the Department of Defense to the Department of States. All right. Um, it's all military. It's all military. And they want a bigger troop size. That is what's taking place. And these troops, here's a nice simple graph. Targeting, intelligence collection. Oh, off of intelligence collection, monitor, collect, exploit. Off of defense, detect, prevent, secure, protect. Off of command and control, facilitate, coordinate, synchronize. Off of operations, deny, disrupt, degrade, breach, destroy. Inform and influence. Shape, inform, influence, manipulate, mislead, expose, diminish, promote, deceive, coerce, deter. Mobilize. Convince. Right here in the middle. Weaponization of social network media. Activities and effects. This is what they are doing. And this document goes into you know, some of the details. They create deception. They create noise. They create an informational fog around a topic in order to distract attention from more strategically important events. They distract the public. We now can mobilize people to help one another and raise funds for social causes, investigate crimes, and provide greater assistance to humanitarian disaster relief efforts. All right, what did I think of? I thought about all of the mass shootings and all of a sudden you see all of these GoFundMe pages that suddenly appear within minutes right after a shooting. And they get so many people to donate. And they're, these people are just throwing their money away because these mass shooting events are false flags, staged events. I also thought of the uh, uh, white helmets. The White Helmets, those humanitarian good souls, the White Helmets in Syria, they use social media to promote the White Helmets. They get the White Helmets, those who, who uh, just got the Academy Award for that documentary. They legitimize terrorist organizations and they give them awards. And on social media, they prop them up. And they get an awful lot of people donating to the White Helmets because they have been able to deceive them into thinking that these, this organization is humanitarian, and it's not. You know, the, it's, oh. I mean, I could never, ever, ever, ever engage myself in this kind of work. It, it's, it's. It, I don't have it in me. What is it about people that can be engaged in this kind of work? To lie, to deceive, to
to destroy other people, to bring about more and more lies and more and more disinformation. How can they not see that their work is nothing but evil comes to mind. All right, hybrid warfare can be characterized as a form of warfare which compromises a mix, comprises a mix of methods. Conventional, unconventional, military, non-military, overt, covert, involving cyber and information warfare aimed at creating confusion and ambiguity on the nature, the origin, and the objective of these actions. This is what we are seeing mainstream media do every single day. This is what we see the trolls on the internet doing every single day. So what makes modern warfare so different is the effects the information can cause to the development of the conflict as audience perception of the outcome of the conflict matters more than the actual facts on the ground. That's right. It's a fight over control. It's a fight over control of people's perceptions and behavior. It's an integral part of modern conflicts. Information warfare. Yeah. Used right here. Intelligence collection. You think your emails, your phone calls, all of your comments, your posting videos, everything that you post anywhere is now being collected and stored and will be used against you if necessary. Focused search for and analysis of information from social media networks and profiles including content and conversations done either overtly or covertly. Uh, it's the intelligence collection, uh, trans networks, sentiment, geo uh, content, behavioral, systemic information. All information is being collected and analyzed. Every individual, you, me, we've got our own profiles for our intelligence agencies to use against us when the day comes and they find it necessary. Analysis can contribute to target audience analysis to support psychological warfare or the selection of targets for operations both on and offline. Think about all of the targeted individuals. Social media makes it possible to get detailed information. You don't have to be physically present. It's a useful source for situational awareness, identifying the early warning signals of a future crisis. Crowdsourcing. So they're talking about the crowdsourcing sites where people are working with one another to crowdsource all the information, the facts and the evidence, all of the research. Ah, it's an easy way to get in there and stick in disinformation. You know, and, and they do talk about, they use as an example what was happening in the Ukraine a couple of years ago. Here, for example, a joint project run by the Atlantic Council and Belingi Cat. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but they were able to track and provide evidence for the presence of Russian troops in Ukrainian territory simply by collecting information from social media profiles used by Russian soldiers, Google Maps, images in the media. So it makes it possible to counter, counter information, counter disinformation. They infiltrate everything. Cyber operations targeting social media platforms and accounts to breach password protected spaces, alter the content of a profile, render a website completely unusable. Cyber operations, either offensive or defensive, include actions like distributed denial of service, attacks on websites, password hacking to gain access 
and expose the content of chat rooms, emails, cell phones, altering content in social media app, um, accounts, or intrusion into databases in order to collect information. Activities are aimed at preventing other actors from using social media platforms to communicate, coordinate actions, access information, or distribute messages, at least temporarily. They have been so effective in making sure that we don't coordinate and that our communication is just filled with tension. And all of those who leave you know, comments saying this one's a shill and this one's a different information agent and you don't provide evidence to back up your claim, you're a tool. You're a useful idiot because you're helping to break down trust and that's why I do at times get very upset when I see those kinds of comments with no evidence it's just somebody's opinion but it influences people so they love it when you write those comments you're on the wrong side you're helping the wrong side that's what you're doing Activities are aimed at preventing other actors from using social media platforms to communicate, coordinate actions, access information, or distribute messages, command and control, using social media for internal communication, information sharing, coordination, synchronization of actions, uh, important for non-state actors such as insurgent groups, particularly if these groups lack formal structure or are dispersed over large geographical areas, means of communication, and a way to coordinate these activities. However, you can use the social media to expose the activities of insurgent groups to intelligence services. However, whatever information is useful for them they use these defensive and offensive tactics to gain control over that information. Swarming tactics, the distribution of information to mobilize and coordinate non-state actors with a common interest. Using social media, actors are able to gather quickly for protests, giving security. Uh, and I'm sorry, I just cut off that excerpt. but. You know, we put on social media, oh, let's have a protest. Okay, let's put in the date. Okay, let's organize. Every, everything that we are doing is infiltrated with Department of State, Department of Defense, um, intelligent agency actors to bring down everything that could be of use in this fight. It's very upsetting to see, you know, that six years ago I came onto YouTube and I was, I was so impressed with how people were working together. There was some yeah, trust and there was organization and people, yeah, I could see that channels were working together. Now what I see is everybody kind of individually, they're an island unto themselves, no organization, no trust, everything's just been obliter obliterated. And I don't like evil people winning. I don't like these sick, psychopathic, narcissistic nut jobs using all of these tactics that when you think about it, you think about the individual narcissists that you know, the pathological narcissist, they use a lot of the same tactics. Inform and influence, psychological warfare, the dissemination of information to influence a target Audiences, values, belief systems, perceptions, emotions, motivation, reasoning, behavior, 
achieve certain military effects in the cognitive domain. Shape, inform, influence, manipulate, expose, diminish, promote, deceive, coerce, deter, mobilize, convince. You know, I have the narcissistic family. And I read these things and I go, Jesus. I mean, it was like my little war going on with my one family unit, which was essentially what the family was doing and what families do do to the scapegoat. This is the same kind of stuff. They manipulate. They lie. They influence other people. They inform other people with their lies. They diminish you as a, an individual. They deceive, they coerce, they deter, and they mobilize. They get their narcissistic flying monkeys out to convince others. This is such a sick world that we are living in. Some other techniques, psychological influence and manipulation on social media, increasing the visibility of the message, use of automatically generated content by spamming, or create these fake identities, trolls, sock puppets, bots, in order to spread a message and minimize alternative voices, saturation, saturating the information environment, coordinated use of blogs, posts, articles, posted and reposted by opinion leaders, activists, and fake personas. How many comments have I gotten from people or have spoken to people about they're just on information overload? All of this is orchestrated. Hacking in order to increase the reach of a message or misdirect audiences. The hacking of trending hashtags. Targeting and distracting the opponent. Distribution of misinformation and rumors. Publicize an opponent's alleged wrongdoing. Alleged is the operative word. Attacking the target. Blocking adversary content or asking social media platforms to remove the content of specific pro profiles by complaining about inappropriate content. I mean, I, the reason why I'm going through this is for anybody who was not convinced that virtually everything that goes on on the internet, there are people who are working to control all of the information this document tells you that this is what's happening. And just because it's NATO, don't think that our State Department, our Department of Defense, that they're not using the exact same tactics. Personal attacks. Acquire personal information and use it to defame, ridicule, ridicule threaten. Think about Sandy Hook. Think about Wolfgang Halbig. All of the personal attacks, and I have to tell you, there were an awful lot of people who I just thought were ordinary YouTubers suddenly posting all of these videos. And it's not just Wolfgang Halbig, but they come after an awful lot of people defaming them. Some threaten them ridiculing them. So we have an awful lot of people on YouTube that are not who they claim to be. And that's why, you know, I have said in many, many videos, we've got to be proactive in terms of building up trust, which means we've got to be aware of the presumptions that we make about others. No, your presumption, your opinion, it's not fact. And it's really important to keep it to yourself. Because very often, with presumptions made about people, you're wrong. So you're putting out a lie. And you're hurting another human being. And you're breaking down trust. So sometimes, taking no action is the best action.
and you know simply just when you post incorrect information then when you find out that it's incorrect then you've got to post a video taking responsibility for it and clearing it up I, there are certain things that we can do proactively to create more trust and it seems that most people on the internet on YouTube Facebook Twitter all over the place have no problem you know just throwing out their opinion and their opinion is influencing an awful lot of people and it's very damaging very damaging because when you can't trust you have nothing you have nothing to work with you have no foundation to build anything with and it is absolutely one of the main reasons why we are just you know flying all over the place without any kind of organization nothing social engineering psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information now I will tell you that after six years of being on the internet having met people who ultimately ended up lying about me playing me having corresponded with people and then suddenly they're gone now I get comments from people who say contact me I'm not contacting anybody anymore and I am now that's what happens when you lose trust it absolutely everything that we do has a ripple effect on other people for military purposes such as espionage and information gathering attacks can be automated by the use of bots or carried out by humans with fake identities I don't like this world this is not a world that I operate well in um, so but this is the world that we got and in terms of subscribers, you know, there is an awful lot that I don't correspond with or don't talk to. And I'm not talking about you. You know, I, there is a, a level of trust that I've always had, which is I'll have no reason to not trust you. I don't start with distrust. I start with a level of trust until something happens and that trust is gone so for the majority of my subscribers I do have a level of trust and when I'm reading your comments you know I, based on the comments I can get somewhat of a feel though it's rather superficial because you know I don't think we can know anybody because we have grown up in a, in, in a society where lying is just the thing to do and everybody's living a pretense and everybody's too scared to just be who they really are with other people they're scared of being ostracized or shamed or so everybody is like oh gotta go along to get along and and then so they have this mask that they wear in the real world um, so family, friends, hell, husbands, wives, how can you really, really know another individual? But we can't really know one another in the cyber world. You need to be in somebody's life. Now, I read the comments and I hear what some of you are doing, but you know how many times I have been told or heard from other people who are quote unquote awake they talk in a big game and then it's when you get into their life you see oh god another one who they talk the talk but they don't walk the walk so it's until you can actually see if what people say matches what they do that's when you get to know if that is 
a trustworthy individual. But you can't know that. Not in this cyber world. Because you, got, you have to be a part of somebody's life in real life to see how they're living their life. To see what they do. But internet trolling, organizing activities by using fake identities in internet and social media in order to achieve certain effects. Phenomenon of imitating grassroots actions using social media is known as astroturfing. It's a tool of influence, spreading pop propaganda and rumors, and distorting the online discussion by attacking commenters with alternative views. Here evidence of what we are living. I'll link below to both this NATO document and the, the State Department release, their statement. But yeah, I... We have to be very careful of what we say, what we do, increase our awareness of our own thought process -y. Catch those presumptions before you just level them into the cyber world. Don't lie. Don't lie. Stop accepting lies. Get out and confront people who lie. That's the only way that we can possibly manifest any kind of health, sanity in this world. Have a good day, guys.